Hello everyone, hope all is well, hope everyone's doing all right. This is uh, Vince Tucker, I will be your instructor for the fall semester. My apologies first for uh, taking so long to get this intro video to you. I had a hectic week, um, first week of class and uh, leading up to it as well. And so my apologies for just getting this out to you. But I uh, guess better late than never, right? So let me, let's go ahead and walk through a few things. Uh, most definitely, you know, I will be communicating with you guys through email. Uh, we will be archiving all of our emails through Canvas. So if ever you, um, let's say if you missed emails or you think you may have missed emails or you haven't heard from me in a while, you can always go to your Canvas announcements. And that's where all the emails that I've sent will be archived. So you can see all the emails that I've sent up to this spot, uh, to this uh, up to date. All right, so you know we have our our greetings, course description. We had that class optional intro. We had a few people that did show up, but that's why I'm creating this video right here. So for those who didn't show up, at least you'll know what we talked about in that meeting. Requi required materials. Talk about math lab access. So here are instructions in order to register for math lab. Now I did give a different course ID, a new course ID. So this one is a little longer uh, valid. So make sure, well, I'll show it to you in a second, but you would go to mathlab.com, register, use this course ID, use the course ID, that new one, and then follow these instructions as far as uh, you have three different options, either use the access code you've purchased from TCC or some outside source. Then uh, the other option is to just purchase access through Pearson itself. And if you're not ready to purchase yet, but you want to go ahead and get started, you use the 14-day free pass. All right. Math lab specifics. So for this course, we will be using what we call math lab, which is a computer component that will hold all of our assignments, generate all of our assignments, and give you instant feedback once you submit your assignments. So main thing, or just a few things we want to understand. The main thing is that you cannot pass the course without access to Pearson's math lab. I mean, it's just impossible because all of your assignments, anything that we do is going to be generated through math lab. All of your assignments and tests, I already mentioned that we generate through MathLab. You must participate or show activity in MathLab weekly. You don't necessarily have to do it every single day, but weekly. You want to get in there and do something. Your attendance is confirmed by MathLab activity. So even if, let's say, you couldn't get some work in there uh, done this week or next week, whatever, in a week, uh, what you want to do is at least go into your homework, hit save, and then come on out. Do something to show that you have activity and you're still around. Each semester, I have people that fall off the face of the earth. I'll never see you ever again. And I, I don't know what to do but to give them F. So in order for me not to know that you are in order for me to know that you're not one of those people, make sure you show some type of activity. So uh if you have any issues with attendance, math lab, or anything like that, make sure you communicate. I cannot help you if I don't know you need help. So I'm willing to work with anybody who needs uh help or needs to be worked with. And I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out, but I need to know something. Don't need deep intimate details, but I do need to know that you're out there still trying to make it happen and any type of extensions or anything like that is needed, then uh, we can work it out. So your homework, uh, you will have unlimited amount of attempts to get the best grade possible. So uh, the way I look at homework, we talk about scoring. 75 to 84.9 is a 90% in the grade book. 85 to 100% is a full 100%. Notice I didn't mention anything less than a 75. Well, the reason being is because if you have unlimited amount of tries, there's no such thing as unlimited amount of problems. You can actually keep clicking on the problem until it comes up to the other problem that you had, what gave you the answer and all the good stuff like that. So if you want to cheat your way to a 75, you probably could. So we don't want to uh, condone that, of course, because it will not help you when it comes to getting ready for your test. But uh, you can get a 75 with unlimited amount of tries if you want to. Test reviews, they're set up like your homework with unlimited amount of tries. You uh, can get 85 on it. If you can get 85 on it, then I will give you five points to your to that to that test, to that respective test. But they're not mandatory. You do not have to do them. You do not have to make an attempt on them. You don't have to open them up. But they are there for your help, to your benefit. What you could do, I would suggest that you would at least take a look at them, see what type of problems are up there so that if you get to your test, you're not shocked. You're not surprised because you know what type of problems are on your test. All right. When any tests that are posted in Math Lab, you have two attempts to get the best grade possible. Uh, so any te test that's just posted in Math Lab that's not proctoring, 
uh, you know, Proctor, you talking about me being there to watch you in some degree or some fashion. So most of your tests, well, all of your tests, because this online class will not be proctored. We have two tests that I have to proctor on uh, your final exam. And I'm going to do a midterm. So everything else is just you doing it on your own at your own time. You have your final exam, which at the end of the course and then about midterm. Uh, we will go ahead and put a have a, I'll give you a about four days to choose from within that midterm week in which you would zoom in and you would show your ID. I'll give you the password, leave your camera on. And then from there, you would just knock out the test. So we have two moments where we will have proctor tests. All right. And those dates will be established later. Just need to check out when it's halfway, count it out and all that stuff like that. So for any scratch work, now this class for 245, it's not going to be much scratch work. But that's just a general statement I do for all of my classes, like, you know, for pre-calculus and calculus, I will have scratch work. You guys probably will not have much scratch work at all. All right. Let's go back to your announcements. All right. So here, your new course ID for Math Lab. It's Tucker 81734. Uh, that, will, that should get you to the new book, new text. It's just the next edition from the old. All right, so chapter one and two definitions. They are in math lab. Notice the date for those, September 4th. Some of you have already turned them in. Um, I'll show you those in a second. And let's see, let's see what else. Math lab refund. For those of you who may have spent money on the previous course ID and registered and everything, uh, according to a classmate, you can go ahead and get your money back. They'll give you the money so that you can go ahead and get the new one. And so until that money comes back to you, you can use a 14 day free pass on this new course ID. So that's what that's all about. Let me know if you have any issues with that so we can make sure you're straight. All right, I think that's it for our emails. You know, we just had that situation where I was trying to create the new course ID and the math lab was down. All right, so let's go to your course shell. So this is math lab. Uh, just like I said before, what you would do is, and if I need it, let me show you this. All right, so you know you would do www.mymathlab.com, hit register as a student, register now, type in that course ID, Tucker, don't remember what it was. One seven three four. All right. So from there, you would actually type in if you already have a uh, creation, and not a creation. You already have a course. Um, let me get my thoughts right. If you already have a log in ID and password from Pearson, you can go ahead and type that in right here. If not, you hit create an account. Put in your personal information. And then from there, you create your account. Then they'll that's when they'll talk to you about your three options as far as purchasing access or typing in your access code or using the 14-day free pass. All right. So let's go back into your shell. All right, so here's your shell. Should be this one right here, Fall 2022 new. So here are your definitions right here. Now, if you saw in Canvas, there was a link that said syllabus. Your syllabus will not be in Canvas. I'm going to post your syllabus right here, right above your definitions. I'll probably do that tonight. Because uh, I'll try to put everything in one place. The only thing that we're using Canvas for is for your email your emails, uh, to archive your emails and to communicate. Other than that, everything else is in here. Your assignments, your due dates, your grading, everything is in Math Lab. Okay, so your definitions right here. So you see uh, definitions one, three pages, definitions two, 
That's just one page. All right. And so this wasn't made to be hard and hard assignment. Let's see if we go here. Chapter one. Let me hit e text. It's taking a little while to come up, but it's all good. All right, so here's one one, and you see the first definition is statistics. Second one is data. So all of them are like that, bolded or in a box of some fashion. If I were to go back to your definitions, see the first one is statistics, second one is data, and all of them should be in, in order. So it wasn't a, an assignment that was made to be hard, but so, uh, something to familiarize you guys with the terminology and um, everything that comes along with setting a good foundation for statistics as you move forward. All right, so you're going to, once you do those, you can write them down or type them out. Then you send me a picture of them with your phone or you can scan them. Either way, email them to me at vtucker at tcc.edu. Okay. So I'll show you one more thing. Looking at your assignments. So I'm going to map this thing out as far as midterm is concerned. Um, should see all your tests. Yep, all your tests and assignments. So your midterm will probably be on chapters one through four. And then your final. Let me check it out to see if I'm going to make it cumulative or not. The review is cumulative. This final exam review is cumulative. But, uh, you know, let me think about it. But I know your first, your midterm will be on one through four. All right, chapters one through four. Okay, oh, didn't mean to push that, that's all good. So I just wanna show you how MathLab works real quick. And then from there, we'll be good to go. Oh, let's look at the calculation one. All right, so let's say you put in the answer. You go over here, check your answer. If it's wrong, they try to give you a hint. Second time, give you a hint. Third time. So you get three chances to get the best uh, to get the answer correct. Final check. Answer was wrong to tell you the right answer. So if you hit okay, uh, this was a two-part. Okay. We're going to do the same thing. All right, so you can do next question, do hit similar question. So if you just uh, close it out, go to next question or whatever. If you want to reset the problem, you can reset it down here. If you didn't hit it when the box came up, and then that'll reset the problem, and it'll give you a problem very similar to what you just had. Till you get it right, it'll be a red X right here. You look at your list up here, red X. Once you get it right, it'll turn into a green check. Notice this was a two-parter, so let's say if I got one right, one wrong, it'll be green check slash red X until you get the whole thing right, which will give you red X. All right, and then it divide the points up accordingly up here. Okay, down here, view an example. Not view an example, help me solve this. Most people don't hit help me solve this unless they're completely done with the problem. They just don't want any more parts of it because once they help you solve it, they'll reset the problem with a similar problem. Uh, so most people like to hit view an example when it opens up a window to a problem that's very similar to the problem that you're dealing with. And then you can you know walk through it. And when you're done, you can close it out. You can even print that out and then go ahead and work with a problem you're working with. Get more help. Sometimes they'll have an extra video here with an instructor from Pearson. Um, click on textbook to send you to the place where the book talks about this problem. Uh, Stack Crunch is, is Pearson's version of Excel. Tech help, just hitting um, their uh, customer support if you had any issues with something. And then ask my instructor, he'll send me an email about this problem that you that you need help with. All right. Sometimes for some reason I may not get those. I don't know if it's user error or not. But every now and then I get a student to say, hey, I sent you something through, ask my instructor, and it never got to me. So by some chance you email me and you don't get an answer, always feel free to email me again through another means um, just to remind me or see if I ever got the email.
Okay, so that's it for Math Lab. So from this point forward, you guys know what you have to do. Oh, let me go back here to um. Then I send you the videos. Did I not post them? Oh man, I thought I posted that. So my fault. I also am gonna send you this document right here. See if I found it. Anyway, I'll find it later. And just basically your previously recorded I thought for sure I sent that to you guys. Maybe I didn't, but it is here. Once I get things, here we go. Unless I mean if they can post it in the wrong shell. All right, so I will be sending you this right here. Just uh, lectures for chapters two, three, four, five, all the way to chapter eight, chapter 10. So I need to check. I saw that we had chapter 11 in there. I need to check, make sure um, if we're going to get to chapter 11 or not. But I know for a fact, we'll get to chapter 10, uh, hypothesis testing and whatnot. But yes, I will send this, these links to you guys so that you can have access to them. And we'll go from there. So uh, also we'll be sending you guys office hours and uh, they're just Zoom links. So on specific days and if uh, by some chance, you can't make any of those office hours, but you still need help, make sure you email me so we can see if we can set up a time in order for us to be able to meet and um, take care of your questions, all right? So if you have any questions about anything I've said or some questions that about something that I have not covered, make sure you shoot that email to me, vtucker at tcc.edu, and we'll go from there. Hope you guys have a great semester and look forward to seeing you soon and talking with you soon. Take care. Thank you.